This is the entrance for Restaurant The Stars. Right where you enter, there is the kiosk for checking in if you have a reservation. And then against the back wall is the queue to pay for your meal. If you have a green pass, you can show it at the kiosk and you will be seated right away. And then one member of your party can go pay at the registers in the back corner. So you won't have to queue if you have a green pass. Restaurant de Stars, and there's like basically nothing that I can eat, so I'm gonna do an Atama meal taste test for you. I chose the tomatoes and corn, the fusilli with white sauce and chicken, and for dessert, just like applesauce. So we'll start with the appetizer. This is not bad. This is pretty good. This is the gluten-free fusilli with white sauce and chicken. Oh, that's the other thing. They don't have a vegetarian Natama meal anymore. So I had to go with, I had to pick one of the meat options because they didn't have a vegetarian. All right, let's try. So you're gonna just eat the pasta and leave the meat? Well, I'm, yeah. And this is the apple compote. sweet. That's a lot of sugar. Boy. So it, no wonder it tastes really freaking sweet. The apple dessert has 24 grams of sugar. My can of soda only has 21 grams of sugar. I took a sip of this after I tried the apple dessert and it didn't taste sweet by comparison. Here you can see the types of food options available at Restaurant des Stars. Typically, Disneyland Paris provides a theme or category for the type of food served at a restaurant. For example, Cowboy Cookout Barbecue serves Tex-Mex cuisine. Cafe Agrabah serves Middle Eastern cuisine. Bistro Chez Remy serves a traditional French menu, etc. But for Restaurant des Stars, the only description they give is international cuisine. The buffet serves a lot of meat and dairy heavy food, so it's definitely not a place I would recommend to vegetarians and vegans. Additionally, when we went up to the buffet with a cast member to check for contaminants, almost everything had hidden allergens. The sauces mostly had dairy and gluten, the vegetables and rice were cooked with butter instead of just with oil or broth, and we were only able to find raw vegetables and fruits in terms of simple staple foods. Of course, every person is different, everyone has different food intolerances or dietary needs, but from our perspective as a family with multiple food intolerances, we would rather spend our money somewhere else. <laughs> 